Hey guys, today's video is going to be me showing you my tanning routine using the one and only Loving Tan. This is the before of my um, tanning session. So the first thing that I'm, I use is the exfoliating mitt from Loving Tan. Um, you can use any exfoliator that you like, but this is the one that I prefer because there's two sides. The black side is more abrasive and then the pink side is less abrasive. It just depends on how much tan you want to remove or the dead skin. So I like to exfoliate, shave, and shower the day before just so the tanner doesn't sink into my pores and it has time for my pores to close. So the next day right before I am about to tan, I like to moisturize certain parts of my body. My favorite right now is the Anderson Lily um, Moisturizer. It's the tangerine one. Um, I got it in a FabFit Fun Box. Um, and what I like to do is I like to moisturize only certain parts of my body. So I will moisturize my elbows, um, my hands, my wrists, my knees and my feet and my ankles, only those particular spots because that is where the tan will cling to the most because that is where most of your dry skin is. So you wanna really wanna make sure that the moisturizer, um, your skin is moisturized so the tan doesn't cling to dry patches and it goes on really smoothly. So the self tanner that I particularly use in the winter is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Dark um, Mousse. I like to use the one in the summer, the ultra dark, but for the winter, the dark one is good for me. Um, you guys can use my code, um, and it's just Noel for a free tanning mitt with any mousse purchase. So what I do is I do about two to three pumps per body part, so like per arm, per, per leg, um, so like my thigh, and then my shin, and then my stomach, and my chest. I do about two to three pumps for each body part, and that covers most of it. So when I'm doing my arm, I really just like to do even strokes and then with my hand, I like to make a fist so the tanner gets into my knuckles so I don't have really awkward tan lines and in between my fingers just so my hands are like evenly tanned. Make sure you get under your arms and under your armpits just because um, you don't want awkward spots on your arms. Um, I don't put as much product on my armpits because your armpits aren't usually that tan so I like to put the excess on that. Um, and then just basically I'm just rubbing it in. It's super easy with this mitt. This bit, mitt is made out of like a velvet texture to really make sure that your tan is dispersed evenly on your body. So what's really awesome about Loving Tans mousses is it's built in with a color guard which means you can see where you're applying the tan when you're um, first initially applying it which I really like. I don't like to guess where I'm applying the tan because knowing me I'll miss an entire leg or an, an entire part of my body and it will look so awkward. So I love that there's a built-in color guard and then once you wash it off after two hours, it will wash off in the shower and then you'll be revealed with a perfect, beautiful tan. So I love that about Loving Tan. Another thing that I love about this product is it has an olive-based undertone, which means your tan is going to be more of an olive tan instead of that orange dreaded tan that everybody does not want. That's what I love about Loving Tan. It's such a natural tan. So right here is right after I applied the tanner. Oh, I look so tan. I love it. So what you want to do with this tanner is you want to wait two hours and then after two hours you want to wash it off. So make sure you just put on some loose comfy clothing. I just put on like a t-shirt dress um, or anything. You don't want tight clothing because that will mess up your tan. So just lounge around for two hours and then after two hours you can wash it off in the shower. This tan lasts about a week and a half on my skin but to prolong your tan and make sure it stays on longer you want to make sure that you keep your skin moisturized throughout the wear of your tan. So here is the before and here is the after. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!